So the long awaited Tower of Fantasy Battle Royale is finally at its test server, meaning that I don't have the privilege to try it out. But there's actually a Twitch streamer called Gatio. He actually has the privilege to try it out. If you want to watch live stream, you can go ahead and go to his stream and check it out. Uh, he's playing it. But I'm going to react to one video on Billy Billy regarding about this mode. And he's going to have commentary, so it's going to be noisy a bit, but hopefully it's not too bad. So we're going to watch from the beginning to the end, so we can basically see all of the gameplay. So you over at the screen, you can see there's solo, there's team, there's there's join, there's uh, ranking and stuff like that, your typical battle royale mode. So you basically go to your account, like in the open world, and just select a P something beside the PvP called Break Fate. And I'm actually very, very excited. This is the one mode that I've been wait waiting for. So there's ranking, and it's gonna try to find a match. There's solo and squad. So it's, he's currently at the open world and wait, looking for a match right now. And, and he found one. I'm gonna link his video down in the description below because you know I don't I don't have privilege over it. I'm just reacting to it. So if he wants to go watch it, uh, if he will, if he wants me to take down this video, I will be gladly to take it down. All right, over at the lobby, you select your weapon. He says that you're se we're selecting our weapon. So you only have a standard banner weapon here, and you also have your ar like your relics relics guy. Okay, select your landing spot. Just very similar to Naraka. Instead of having a plan, you just spawn there. Come on. How many weapons can you pick? Only one? This is the battle royale map. So you only have the standard battle weapon. You have Maru, Subasa, Shiro, uh, Bunch. Uh, the, his music is making it hard. I might get copyrighted, but I don't mind because. A lot of you guys have been expecting this mode, so even if this content is not monetized, I'm okay. Okay, 30 seconds, we're gonna skip that a little bit. And he already picked his landing spot. And then, how do you spawn? It's just gonna spawn you there, right? Please let there be animation. So, Alright, there we go. He spawned just like Naraka, oh my god. What are you playing, Ning? Viper Ning? So you open loot, just like that. Armor, you loot armor. Gauntlet artifact? Oh, not, relic, relic. Armor, okay. Health pack? Relic Armor, okay So the UI, the health bar UI is a little bit different You can see that you have shield And also HP So you can You can select one weapon in the lobby And then have another two weapons So one main weapon and two secondary weapons And you got your armor, two relics Only a helmet and a Armor suit And then you also have your inventory You can switch between your Your relic I'll try to translate what he's saying. Okay, good, good. He's many. He's keeping that, so I can I can react better. It's gonna hook. It's just it's very similar to Naraka. It it seems like the gauntlet doesn't have cooldown, but rather how many you collect so far. All right. So the more rarity you collect the weapons, their rarity will increase. So you gotta collect the same weapon in order to increase their rarity. That's for sure. A cloak, invisibility cloak. Okay. All right. Oh, you only two Yeah, just like I said. Unlike the open world where you use and there's gonna be cooldown. Oh, it's gonna attack him. Nice. Oh, I got him. Opponent. What? All right. He's got the Coco's. Oh, he got. All right. Karsuma skill. Sorry, it's not so clear. But bro, got Claudia skill. Using Mario skill, trying to get away. So what happens if you break their armor? Did he get stunned? Or reduce damage. He's hooking away. Very similar to Naraka. He's hooking. Okay. He's hooking again. He's chasing. Managed to hook the opponent. You can actually hook the opponent. Yes! But it doesn't stop them just like Naraka. They can still hook away. You just kind of grapple to them. He has a little bit of buck right there. Oh, oh, oh someone else. Someone else beside him. He's, he's not used to it. So you select your base weapon and you collect the rest, but you can actually swap out your first weapon. Okay, he got the Mario copy, so he's gonna up his rarity. Wait, why did he collect it? Uh, he, he's explaining his he he mistakenly equipped his sequence of keybind. He's supposed to swap his weapon around a different key. What does the coin? What does the coin do? Is it like an upgrade station? Helmet? No. Oh, 
He fell. Oh, that's some great rarity. Why can't he collect it? Oh, he swapped out his weapon to the side. You can never go wrong with a real weapon. Take it. So he has Coco weapon, Mario, and oh wait, someone's back. Oh, oh that's Coco's heal. That's Coco's healing. He's healing. He's, he's running away because he's low on armor. Oh, someone is. Oh, is it Claudia? Claudia seems to be a PvP t uh, battle royale tier here. Because. Oh, wait. Oh, he got sealed. Is, it, is that his skill? Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, he's done. Okay, that's very sad. Right. He's fighting someone with the bow. And then Karasuma. Karasuma, Cross. Cross ultimate. Cross ultimate is very good for area attack. Nice. He managed to kill him. I like the, the animation, the transition is very good. Very clean. Ooh, that's. Oh, that's. That's loot. That's loaded. Heal. Uh, Coco is good for heal. It's gonna be so fun to play, bro! I want to play! Bro, this is gonna take so long to come to global! I'm gonna be so lonely for months! This is endgame content! Oh, right. He's dashing, flipping. I don't think it. It's server sort of dependent. I mean, Asia can pl probably play with Asia. NA probably play with NA. All right, he's doing something. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's using his relic combined with his uh, art, uh, with his weapon skills. Oh 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 oh! oh. Bro, it's so fun, bro! I want to play this. Imagine squad, bro. All right, he's turning into the mecha re mecha relic. Trying to shoot him. Try to cover that distance. Very good, very good. Look at look at him. He's getting distance. And slam. I think I think you should swap. You should swap his healing, bro. Right? Very good, very good, very good. Subasa is very good. Subasa is very good for PvP for uh, F2P weapon. Oh, oh he's that <laughs> sadly. So the few things I didn't manage to see is that whether there's airdrop or not. So that's basically the entire of the videos. So yeah, make sure to check out the source, the main source, his videos, not mine. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this uh, reaction videos. I really, really like this. I really, I really, really like this. Like, this is the only thing when I heard, I was like, oh my god, I, I want to play this. And it's actually turned out really good. A little bit like Naraka, but not too bad, right? It's very F2P. Again, all the weapons are in, in the battle royale. It's a standard banner weapon. Hopefully they decided to add more, like the, the different banner to make the battle royale more interesting. I think this is gonna be the, the end game content for Tower Fantasy. This is very, very good. Thank you all so much for watching. Zeki Senpai here and Ace. Just gaming channel.